if a b c are angles in a triangle then prove that the first question is sin a plus sin b plus sin c is equal to 4 cos a by 2 into cos b by 2 into cos c by 2 and here the information is given that a b c are the angles of a triangle then we can write this is as a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees or pi radians and we can we have to write in terms of the half angle formulas then we can write this is as a by 2 plus b by 2 plus c by 2 is equal to pi by 2 okay so from this one we can write as a plus b by 2 is equal to 90 minus c by 2 okay and moving forward for the first question we can write this is as what is the question the lhs is given that sine a plus sine b plus sine c now for the first two terms we can apply sine c plus sine d formula from this one we can write this is as 2 sine c plus d by 2 means a plus b by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 into a minus b by 2 cos of a minus b by 2 plus sine c and here we can replace the sine c as 2 sine c by 2 into cos c by 2 now we can write this is as sine of a plus b by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 plus and the sine half angle formula sine theta can be written as 2 sine theta by 2 here theta equals to c into cos theta by 2 okay cos c by 2 and if we apply the sign over here sine of a plus b by 2 can be written as sine of pi by 2 minus theta sine of 90 minus theta we can write this is as cos c by 2 so now here we can write this is as 2 cos c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 plus 2 sin c by 2 into cos of c by 2 and here we can take 2 cos c by 2 as common so then we can write this is as cos of a minus b by 2 plus sin c by 2 and here we can write this is as c by 2 is equal to 90 degrees that means pi by 2 minus of a plus b by 2 and if we apply the sine sine of 90 minus theta sine c by 2 can be written as cos of a plus b by 2 that means cos of a by 2 plus b by 2 now here we can write this is as 2 cos c by 2 into cos of a by 2 minus b by 2 plus and sin c by 2 can be written as cos of a by 2 plus b by 2 and we have the formula that cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b is equal to 2 cos okay 2 cos a cos b but here the angle a is nothing but a by 2 and b is nothing but b by 2 then we can write this is as 2 cos a by 2 into cos b by 2 finally we can retrieve the solution as 4 cos a by 2 into cos b by 2 into cos c by 2 which is our required rhs so the first question is retrieved and we have, we have proved that LHS equals to RHS and the next question is sin A plus sin B minus sin C just uh, it is as the previous problem 
So now we can apply sin c plus sin d for the first two terms. Then we can write this is as 2 sin a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2. And we can write sin c as 2 sin c by 2 into cos c by 2. And we have the half angle formulas over here. From this one, we can write a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus c by 2. Then we can write sine of a plus b by 2 as sine of a plus b by 2 as if we apply the sine, we can write this is as cos c by 2. So now we can write this one is as cos c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 minus 2 sin c by 2 into cos c by 2 and if we take 2 cos c by 2 as a common okay if we take 2 cos c by 2 as a common then we can write this is as cos of a minus b by 2 minus sin c by 2 and we can write this is as sin c by 2 as pi by 2 minus of a plus b by 2 and here we can write cos of c by 2 into now we can write this is as cos of a minus b by 2 minus and I am writing over here sin c by 2 can be written as 90 minus of a plus b by 2. So over here we can write this is as cos c by 2 into cos of a by 2 minus b by 2 minus sine of 90 minus theta can be written as cos theta which is nothing but cos of a by 2 plus b by 2 okay that means a plus b by 2 and we have the formula over here cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b which is nothing but 2 sin a sin b but here the angles are in terms of of angles a by 2 a is nothing but a by 2 and b angle b is b by 2 then finally we can retrieve which is equals to 4 sin a by 2 into sin b by 2 into cos c by 2 which is the solution for the second problem the next question is cos c cos a plus cos b plus cos c is equals to and for the first two terms we can apply cos c plus cos d the resultant of the cos c plus cos d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 that means a plus b by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 that means a minus b by 2 plus cos c okay so if we look at the options so what is if we look at the third question it is the rhs is plus 1 plus 4 sin a by 2 sin b by 2 sin c by 2 and we have the formulas for cos theta okay we have the formulas for cos 2 theta equals to 1 minus 2 sin square theta or 2 cos square theta minus 1 if it is for the half angle formulas we can write this as cos theta equals to 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2 or 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1 but in the RHS we have the plus 1 means the best formula to use is cos what is cos theta equals to 1 minus 2 sin square theta by 2 so now here we can write this as cos of a plus b by 2 can be written as cos of pi by 2 minus c by 2 okay we can write as a plus b by 2 as pi by 2 minus c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 plus cos c okay but in the rhs we have the plus 1 now replace the cos c with 1 minus 2 sin square c by 2 1 minus 2 sin square c by 2 and here we can write this is as 90 minus theta i sin theta cos of 90 minus theta is sin theta then we can write as 1 minus so what is uh, 2 sin c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 plus 1 minus 2 
sin square c by 2 and I can write plus 1 over here plus and I can take 2 sin c by 2 as a common from the remaining terms then we will get as cos of a minus b by 2 minus sin c by 2 okay so now we can replace over here as 1 plus 2 sin c by 2 2 sin c by 2 into cos of a by 2 minus b by 2 otherwise cos of a minus b by 2 minus sin c by 2 sin c by 2 already we did over here sin c by 2 can be written as for the simplification i am writing over here pi by 2 minus of a plus b by 2 pi by 2 minus of a plus b by 2 then we can write it as 1 plus 2 sin c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 a by 2 minus b by 2 minus sin of 90 minus theta is cos theta then we will get it as cos of a plus b by 2 or cos a by 2 plus b by 2 and here we have the formula that what it is cos of a minus now cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b which is 2 sin a sin b okay which is 2 sin a sin b and here the angles are half angles 2 sin a by 2 into 2 sin b by 2 then finally we can get the required RHS as 1 plus 4 sin a by 2 into sin b by 2 into sin c by 2 which is the required RHS and the next question is cos a plus cos b minus cos c the fourth one cos a plus cos b plus minus cos c just do as it is what we did for the above problem we can write this as cos c plus cos d as 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 that means a plus b by 2 into a minus b by 2 minus cos c and we can write this as cos of a plus b by 2 as sin c by 2 then I am writing over here this is a sin c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 and we can write this is as here we have the sin c by 2 then cos c can be written as 1 minus 2 sin square c by 2 then if we simplify this we will get sin c by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 minus 1 plus 2 sin square c by 2 and we can write this uh, minus 1 over here minus 1 plus i can take 2 sin c by 2 as a common if we take 2 sin c by 2 as a common then we can write this one as cos of a minus b by 2 plus sin c by 2 okay sin c by 2 now we have already did in the previous problem we can write sin c by 2 i's cos of a plus b by 2 then which is equals to cos of a minus b by 2 plus cos of a plus b by 2 okay so a by 2 plus b by 2 which is in the form of cos a plus cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b then we have the formula that 2 cos a cos b but here a is nothing but a by 2 and b is nothing but b by 2 then finally we have the rhs our required rhs is minus 1 plus 4 cos a by 2 into cos b by 2 into sin c by 2 i hope that this explanation will help you to get the required solutions thank you